Hey, today is the day that we finally make the ropa vieja and we're gonna make vaca frita too. I'm gonna make them both the same day, so you're probably gonna see this intro twice. My two most requested recipes. It's so genuinely Cuban, so amazingly delicious, and it's easy, and it's even freezable. So, no teeth, no problem. You can gum it, it's so soft. No tienen diente, no importa. Tan suavecito, va a estar riquísimo. Let's get in the kitchen. Let me show you how. Okay, so the falda, which is, I believe, flank, you can also use brisket or London broil. It's been sitting in this crock pot all night in stock with an onion and green pepper and some bay. And it is nice and tender now. See that? Flaky. So we're going to go ahead and shred it and get started on la ropa vieja. All right, guys, here we go. I already have some oil heating up in this pan, and we're going to start with our onions. Green and red bell pepper. And we're going to cook them down a bit until they're tender. Okay, our onions and peppers are tender now, or tender enough. Now we're going to add our garlic. And optional is a little bit, one small leaf of culantro, which you're Puerto Rican regal. And you can use cilantro also, or you can omit it all together. But I love the flavor. To this, I actually add my dry spices now because I like them to toast up and the flavors to come out. So here's a little cumin some oregano, your seasoning packet, your sazon, and I always add a little bit of sazon completa, just a little. I like the spices to get nice and toasty first instead of adding them to the sauce. I feel that it gives it a much better flavor. Okay, and once this is nice and toasty, oh my God, it smells so good. Con esto se casa cualquiera. You want to marry a Cuban man? A Cuban man, pay attention. Okay. Now we're gonna add the meat. And the other half of this meat is ready for the next marriage-worthy recipe, vaca frita, fried cow, translated literally. Okay, so now we're going to saute this just a little until it's covered in all these spices. And I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I've been sauteing the meat along with the spices for a little while now. This is just so the spices can stick to the meat. You're not looking to brown anything, that's tomorrow. Simple enough. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is add a hint of Worcestershire, Worcestershire Shire. <laughs> it gives it a little punch. We're going to salt, salt it to taste. I have a taste for salt, God knows. Okay. 
tomato paste or tomato sauce? I add a can of tomato sauce. And in the same can, I'll do the wine, the vino seco. You can use red wine also if you don't have this. Okay, half a can, same can of the vino seco. And then we're going to add some of the yummy broth that it's uh, that it braised in, the braising liquid, which is gold, by the way, so don't throw that away. That's a nice super stock waiting to happen. So I've got it there, and it has a hiaco written all over it. Okay, so we're going to let that simmer. I'm going to add some olives. And if the olive juice falls in there, that's not a bad thing either. I like a lot. Make it how you like it. There are no rules. Just get the basics and then you do with it what you wish. Make it your own. This is going to be amazing. All right, and last but not least, is we're going to add just a little bit of vinegar. I like to use balsamic, and it's just a tiny bit, I would say like half a capful. Um, I use balsamic just to give it a little sweetness. If you don't use that, you can do a little squirt of ketchup because the sweetness is necessary with all the acid in here okay so now we're gonna let it simmer down and I've got some rice going you can do white rice but I've got some yellow rice going right now and I'm gonna make some maduros I'll see you in a minute now we'll, oh we're going to cover it and simmer it all done there you have it my tutorial on how to marry a Cuban man I mean how to make Ropa Vieja. Try this guys. It is so Cuban and so delicious. Even better if you make it the day before. Let's put this baby on a plate and shove it in our face. You guys, I swear this is so, so good. You have to try this. My goodness. I will be back next week or in a few days with the vaca frita that I and making today right after this recipe it's going to be very yummy thank you so much for watching and if you're enjoying cooking with me support me by subscribing i will see you all very soon be safe <laughs>